If you love the truth, the Spirit of God can quicken the truth unto you at any moment. And He'll make sure that you know that it's from Him. Because the Scriptures have utter support to back up what's said. Then you'll know. The Spirit and the Word agree. Now you have a safety. You have security. You have assurance. You have confidence. You have faith to believe that it's of God. And not of a devil, not of men. It's of God. The truth. The Spirit. The Word. The Spirit gives testimony to the Word that is true. And that Word you can hide in your heart. And you'll not sin against God. The Esau generation. Well, what happened to Esau? He did not hide the word in his heart concerning rights to being born first. The birthright. He didn't hide that truth in his heart. Buy the truth and sell it not. Well, I buy what you said, brother. I buy that. I receive that. Buy means to receive, to accept, to give heed to. Amen. I buy that. Buy the truth and sell it not. But Esau sold the truth. And it cost him his soul. Amen. Who are the Esau's today? They that live a name. They that sell the truth. They are present day Esau's. To this very day. They sell the truth that's meant for their own salvation. Work out your own salvation. Work. This is the work of God that we believe. Believe what? Believe the truth. Have a love for it. Walk in it. And you won't be lost. Your name won't be blotted out of the Lamb's book of life. Esau sold the truth. Well, Jesus said, sell the truth. No, he didn't. No, he did. That you don't sell. Sell that that thou hast. You retain that which God gives you, that retain. Brothers and sisters, many people love to twist the word of God. They love to wrestle scriptures to their own destruction. But we're not part of the many, we're part of the few that don't do such things. By the grace of God, we don't do such things. Because if it wasn't God, by his grace, to help us, we'd be just like anybody that don't even care whether they please God or not, whether they obey God or not, whether they blaspheme the Holy Ghost or not, whether they committed the sin unto death or not, whether they committed the great transgression or not, they don't care. But we're not numbered with them. We're not numbered with such. We're not numbered with such saints. Praise the name of the Lord. These are they that sell the truth, saints. After that, a firm commandment has been delivered. Don't do it. Don't do it. If you sell it, then how can you not sin against God? When that truth that's meant to be hidden in your heart is not there, you are, and I am, any of us are assured to sin against God. Absolute guarantee. You don't have the word of God in your heart when he's giving you space to do so. You're in danger of eternal damnation. Any of us. Any of us. Well, where do you get such boldness to say what you just said, brother? Men of God told this vessel that's before you this night. You, brother, hide the word of God in your heart. Don't be taken away by so many great revelations, over much wisdom, over much righteous, over wise, and don't have foundation in the scriptures. Don't be taken away like that. You hide God's word in your heart. Get that word in your heart. So through chastening and scourging when I didn't quite do it quick enough, and then God bringing me to repentance and godly sorrow, all of a sudden the word is there. All of a sudden the word is there. It's in the heart. Through much tribulation, yet the word is there. It came through much tribulation to get the word of God in my heart. It came through laboring, through tears, through mourning, through groaning, to crying out to God. It's there. By God's grace, have obeyed. Put that word in your heart, brother. Put that word in your heart. By God's grace, have obeyed. 
Didn't sell that truth. Uh Uh-uh. I know the penalty for those who did. Cain, Esau, Saul, son of Kish, a Benjamite. There was another Saul, also a Benjamite, that didn't sell the truth that appeared unto him one day. With such brightness above the brightness of the noonday sun, truth appeared to the Apostle Paul, and he didn't sell it. The present-day Judases are they that sell the truth, and they have a name that they live, but they're truly dead. They are the present-day Esau. What do you mean name that he lived? He li- no, he didn't live by, he lived by the name of Father Abraham. Esau sought and thought that it would be well with him by living the name of Father Abraham. Father Abraham, bless me, bless me. Is that not a blessing for me? Father Abraham? He had a name that he lived, but he was dead because he sold the birthright. He sold that word of life, the truth. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, were, were in the power that gave authority and ordination and permission and blessing upon the birthright that was rejected by Esau. He rejected it. He sold it. These are the present-day Esau's. They have a name that they live, but they're dead. Well, I'm going to live by Brother Stair's name. I've been with the Overcoming Ministry. You have a name that you live, and you're dead. You are going to stand before the judgment seat of Christ and give an account of all the deeds that you have done in that body that your soul is presently indwelling. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Present day Esau's sell the truth. And it costs them their soul. Therefore God presently hateth them. Amen. Those are the present day Esau. Well, we live by the name of Jesus. We're Christians. We we ate and drank in Jesus Christ's presence. We prophesied in his name. Well, we cast out devils in his name. Thou hast a name that thou livest, but thou art dead. Even seeking to use the name that's above all names. And not doing what he says? Selling his truth? That's meant for the salvation of your soul. Present day Esau's. Whom God hateth. He hath indignation against such forever. Jesus told me to see that I have. And I'm going to do it anyway. You're going to lose your soul. If you sell the truth. You said that that you have. You attain that that he has for you. All things are yours, even the truth. And you sell it? And you think you're going to inherit the kingdom of heaven? No way. No way. Because you rejected the way and the truth and the life. No way. No way. No interest therein. No way. You sold the only way to enter therein by walking in the truth. And you sell it? No way. No way. This is a serious walk with Jesus Christ. Every word has value to it. If you use it in the wisdom of Jesus Christ, it has value to it. Someone is going to be blessed by it. Someone is going to be strengthened by it. Someone is going to turn from iniquity because of it. Someone's going to depart from iniquity by the manner in which any of us live. If we live for Christ of a truth, someone's going to turn from iniquity. Because that's how we live, by turning from it and living unto God through Jesus Christ our Lord. 
Someone's going to turn from iniquity. Someone is not going to sell the truth. A few are going to retain it. A few are going to hold it fast. A few are not going to let it go. The truth. Present day Esau's have a name that they live, but there is death. Separation from God. Paul said, I'm persuaded. Death ain't going to keep me separated from God. I am persuaded because of his great love that he has for me. He speaks to me the truth in love. And therein do I walk. Speaking the truth in love, that's how God spake to me, to my soul, and that's how I live. By speaking the truth in love. In word and tongue? No, in deed and in truth. If I keep his word, I'm showing that I have the love of God. Whoso keepeth his word in such the love of God is perfected. Is that scripturally sound? Scripturally secure? Aren't you confident that that's written? Didn't Jesus at one time use something that was written? Did it help him out to triumph over the wiles of the devil? Yes, it did. Yes, it did. And we follow in his steps to do the same thing. And we're safe and we're secure. We're confident. We have faith to believe that God will not reject us, but that we'll be received unto glory. Unto glory. Praise your name, Lord. Where is God today? The Esau's ask such question. Just like Saul, where is God today? Which of Endor, where is God today? I don't seem to hear him anymore. I don't seem to have fellowship with him anymore. Where is God today? These are such that once had the word of God, but they sold it. Amen. When tribulation and persecution come because of the word, by and by they are offended at Jesus Christ because of him. They are offended in it. Jesus said, blessed is he who is not offended in me. Cursed be he that is offended in him. In him, yes. I'm in him and offended. If you are, you're in danger of eternal damnation. The way of the Lord is right. That's Jesus. And the just, those whom he has justified, shall walk in that way. It's the way of truth. The way of the Lord is right, and the just shall walk therein. But transgressors, they that love it, they that crave it, they that regard it, shall fall therein. In the way in which is meant for them to live and enter into the kingdom of heaven. They fall in the way. They fall in the way. The way of truth, they know not. Why? Because they sold it. They sold it. And God said, wouldn't I have you ignorant? And you say the truth? There's nothing left but darkness. There's nothing left but ignorance. There's nothing left but lack of understanding. There's nothing left but a strong delusion unto those that don't love the truth. That's why they sell it. They love not the truth. What's the result? A uh, uh, strong delusion, even stronger than Anna, Arnold Schwarzenegger in his heyday when he won those world championship bodybuilding exercises. Amen. Praise your name. Such are the present day Esau's. Where you stand concerning that lot? Hmm? Are you retaining the truth? Do you love it? You're not an Esau. All you that love the truth, stand to your feet right now, wherever you are upon the face of the earth. And this is very important. You stand for Jesus Christ in the sight of God. Stand to your feet. You're standing, Sister Anderson, by faith. You're standing. So you're standing with the rest of us. You that love the truth, just stand upon your feet for a moment, wherever you are. You're not ashamed of Jesus Christ to stand before him in secret, are you? Many of you are in secret. We don't see you here. Are you ashamed to stand before Jesus Christ? If you do that in secret, he'll let you stand before him openly with all other creation 
And the creation is going to rejoice when Jesus comes. That's the manifestation of the sons of God. You stand before him now in secret, you'll be able to stand before him when he comes again. And the lamb stood upon the Mount Zion. You'll be able to stand before him in judgment. The ungodly shall not do so. You may be seated now. You that love the truth, you stood. Amen. Thou standest by faith. Be not high-minded. Spiritual wickedness in such places, but fear God. The fear of God will keep you from being proud. It will keep you from being high-minded. It will help you to be sober-minded. The fear of God will. It will do it, saints. Yes, it will. Blessed be your holy name, Lord.